Grade 8 math number 12.2a, we're going to talk about testing the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. We can use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to help us solve problems. Now converse means reversed order. So instead of using a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is the regular Pythagorean theorem, we do it a little backwards. We say c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. This is a useful tool when we have the length of the hypotenuse but are missing a leg length like a or b. And the converse of the Pythagorean theorem says if c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. Just like the forward version, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, says it's a right triangle. Now, if you're watching this video and you're a little above this level and you need to know about the converse of the Pythagorean theorem because you want to do a proof and you need a theorem for that proof, Try seeing my geometry number 92 video in my geometry playlist and there's a link in the description of this video that'll get you there and it'll actually explain a theorem and what it means, okay? So look for that in the description. All right, so we know a triangle is a right triangle when the sum of the squares of the lengths of the two shorter sides, the two legs, is equal to the square of the length of the longer side, the hypotenuse, right? a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's take a look at this chart. We've got our values for a, b, and c. And if a is 3, b is 4, and c is 5, then that means 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. Well, 3 squared is 9. And 4 squared is 16. And 5 squared is 25. Well, it's also 25 is equal to 9 plus 16. Now, this equation is true, so that means this would make a right triangle. A, B, and C being 3, 4, 5 would make a right triangle, okay? Now, if we've got 5, 12, and 13 for A, B, and C, that means 5 times 5 plus 12 times 12 equals 13 times 13. Well, 5 squared is 25. 12 times 12 is 144, and 13 squared, 13 times 13, is 169. Now, this is true. 144 plus 25 is 169, and that means that 169 is equal to 25 plus 144. So this is true. This is a right triangle. So if A, B, and C are 5, 12, and 13, we'd have a right triangle. Now what would happen if A, B, and C were 7, 9, and 10? Well. 7 times 7 is 49, 9 times 9 is 81, 49 and 81 is 130, but 10 times 10 is 100. 130 is not equal to 100, so this is false. This is not a right triangle. It doesn't make any sense, okay? Let's take a look at the 3, 4, 5 for the top one, okay? We can actually use strips of grid paper to make the right triangles. We have 3 squares here four squares here and five squares there, and when we make a triangle out of them, we can see a nice right triangle. See that? And then for the five, 12, and 13, well, we could do the same thing. We've got five, we've got 12, and we've got 13 units. See that? And it makes a nice right triangle. See that? But look what happens when we do the seven, nine, and 10 for A, B, and C. We've got this one, and that's not really a right triangle, is it? It's kind of leaning inward. And we can actually take our protractor and line up the circle along with the line right here. And look at that. We can see that the brown line is going through the 80 degree mark right here. See? See if you can see that? So this is not a right triangle. This is an 80 degree angle. So. It doesn't work, just like it showed in the Pythagorean theorem in the converse. It doesn't work. It's not a right triangle. See? Now, if you can remember from first grade, we had fact families, and we said that if 2 plus 3 equals 5, then 5 equals 2 plus 3, right? Well, it's the same thing with this. This is the Pythagorean theorem. Here's the converse. a squared plus b squared is c squared. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. It's the same thing as those. See? Now remember in first grade, if these were true, then we could say 5 take away 2 equals 3, and 5 take away 3 equals 2. They're just fact families, right? Same thing. If we have c squared and take away a squared, it's going to give us b squared. 
And if we have c squared and take away b squared, it's going to be a squared. See that? Same thing as first grade. All right? So that is testing the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. And I really hope this was helpful. And we're going to move on to the next video, 12.2b. We're going to talk about identifying a right triangle. Okay? So more about right triangles, and I'll see you next video. Keep your chin up. I hope you're doing well. Bye.